In this video, we're gonna talk about what to do if you're a coach and you're broke. My name is Brian Elwood. I help coaches and experts grow their businesses so they can make more money and make a bigger impact. And I know this concept or you know the situation of being broke is not, not fun. It's nothing to really joke about. Uh, we've all been there before. And when you don't have money, you pretty much can't think about anything else but money. And that's understandable. Maslow's or Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It's like a pyramid about, you know, the things that are important to us, bottom to top. And things like food, water, shelter, security, things that money buys are at the bottom. They're the base of the pyramid. And at the top of the pyramid is things like kind of giving back and self-actualization. And you can't focus on growing as a person or helping others when you yourself are starving. It's just impossible to flip that switch in your brain that focuses on money if you don't have enough of it. So here's how to think about this in terms of your coaching business. So I have a unique opinion on this that some may disagree with, but here's how I see it. So coaches, experts, anyone who's going to put their message out there to make a difference in the world, they're basically positioning themselves as a leader. They're saying, hey, I have some uh, you know things that I think would help you. I think you should listen to me on this or that. And they you know, people are watching them, following them, taking their advice, right? And so you have to understand the implications of what you're getting into when you get into this business and you're here to lead people. And I just know that, you know, from working with clients and I remember what it was like being broke too, when you're in that state of mind, it's almost impossible to show up as a good leader, right? Like you just show up and you're trying to hoorah and you know but at the same time you're like worried in the back of your mind about money so it sabotages your efforts to be a good leader and to show up the way your audience your prospects your clients need you to and also you know this business this idea of like i'm gonna write books and you know start a youtube channel and create courses and i'm gonna work with people and i'm gonna change lives for most people watching this, yeah, you want to make money doing it, but it's really your mission, right? It's like what you would do even if you had all the money in the world. You just need to pay your bills and then you'll be good, right? And so to me, if it's your mission, if it's like your life's purpose, then it's worth building slowly, intentionally, with integrity and from a good place, like internally. And so if you're coming at it from this worried, like, oh, I gotta make this work, my coaching business has to make 10 grand this month, uh, we'll freak it out, then you're kind of, you know, showing up with the wrong energy. And you also put yourself at risk of building a business that you might not end up liking, because if you're desperate for money, you're gonna go out and just see what other some other dude is doing and copy his strategy into your business because it worked for him and it worked for you and you need money. And then you end up finding out that that strategy was either out of integrity with you or you just didn't like it and you couldn't sustain it. Uh, and so even if it does work, you kind of are stuck because you have to continue doing something you didn't like in order to uh, continue to stay afloat and make money. And so there's all kinds of problems that show up when you approach this expert coach based business from a perspective of like, I got to make money from this business. And so I am going to offer you a different approach. What I think makes more sense is to simply just do something else to pay the bills and grow the coaching business on the side. Like if I was dead broke, I wouldn't show up here on these videos and be like, you know, I can help you guys make six figures, you know, click the button down below or whatever. I would first go get a job or drive for Uber or do whatever it took to pay my bills. And then I would come and offer whatever was really authentic to my skill set, you know, from the coaching space. Like, obviously, I'm not going to help you make six figures per year if I'm broke. Like, that's out of alignment. So it would have to be something different. But the main point is don't ever let your coaching business need to make money ASAP. Like 
treat it with the honor and the respect it deserves, continue to be able to show up as a strong leader there because that's your mission. And you don't need to make money. I mean, obviously you do, but don't come at it that way. Where you're like, I need this business to make money. Don't come at it from that energy. It would be better to find another way if you just cannot figure out how to make money as a coach and like the clock is ticking, your savings are running out, don't do that to yourself. Just go get a job, like work for another coach or something. I've seen plenty of coaches do this. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, I might do it if I got a great offer from somebody to work with their team on structuring their offers or something. Like that wouldn't be that bad of a gig. And so go find something that you can do that pays your bills. It probably won't even require 40 hours a week if you can do something online. And then in whatever time you have left, now that the money thing is done, you can show back up to your coaching business and write your book and build your course and create your content and you know do enrollment calls with clients but not need the sale because you already got money handled. And then you can be how you should be, you know, as a strong leader someone who's just showing up to help people, someone who's getting on a sales call to really address whether it's a fit or not, not to try and convince somebody to work with you. And so that's my two cents on what to do if you're broke as a coach to just take that pressure off of your shoulders. Now, obviously, I don't think everyone should go get a job if you're not making money as a coach. If you have like savings in the bank or if you have someone else who's supporting you, then you can continue to show up. But I'm talking about the people who are like, their their bank account is on red, right? And they're freaking out and they're going into debt and they're just hoping that this will be the week where they get clients or whatever. Um, you don't need to do that and you shouldn't because it's just gonna make it way harder to actually get out of the red because you're coming at it from that place. So I hope that helps guys. Uh, again, my name is Brian Elwood. I help coaches and experts grow their businesses. If you like this, please subscribe, hit the like button, give me a comment down below. I'd love to get to know you and I will see you in the next one.